Hi everyone, Rathe Rathe. Um, happy 2024. <laughs> if you haven't seen my previous video where I've already said that, but I'll say it again, happy 2024 because I am shooting it today on New Year's Day. Um, so yes, um, wish you all an absolutely brilliant year filled with tons and tons and tons of spiritual growth. Okay, we're going to do chapter 6 verse 28 today. Um, so let's sing this verse together. Yunjanevam sadatmanam yogi vegata kalmashaha sukhena brahma sansparsham atyantam sukhamashnute Okay, so the last part I can even just figure out like that. Atyantam sukham ashnute. Ashnute is attained, sukham is um, happiness, atyant is very, a lot. Uh, ultimate so uh, the attains ultimate sukh ult attains ultimate happiness that's the last part <laughs> okay yunjanevam sad sadatmanam so yunjan uh, engaging in yoga practice evam the sada always atmanam self always engaging in yoga practice in the self Yogi Vigata Kalmashaha. Yogi, a yogi, a person who is in touch with the Supreme Self, a union with God, a person who is in union with God. Um, Vigat, freed from Kalmasha, all material contamination. So, a person who is always engaged, always sada, always engaged in yoga practice of the self, who is always in touch with the Supreme Self, a yogi, that yogi is freed from all material contamination. Sukhena, happiness, sukha. So there's uh, Sukha here and Sukha here, both. I mean, sorry, uh, Sukha here and Sukha here. Um, Sukhena, uh, Brahma Sansparsham. So Brahma is supreme and Sansparsham. Sparsh is touch. To sparsh, to have a sparsh is to touch. So it's like constant touch with Brahma, constant touch with the supreme attains the highest happiness, the highest atyantam, sukham happiness attains. So the self-controlled yogi constantly engaged in yoga becomes free from all material contamination and achieves the highest state of perfect happiness in transcendental service to the Lord. Um, okay. And let me read Swami Mukandananda here. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. The self-controlled yogi, thus uniting self with God, becomes free from material contamination and being in constant touch with the Supreme achieves highest state of perfect happiness. Yes, this is it. The self-controlled yogi, thus uniting the self with God, that's yoga, um, um, un un unjan, uniting self with God, becomes free from material contamination, uh, you know, free from vigata kalmasha, free from sins, uh, and being in constant touch with the Supreme Brahma Sparsham, Brahma Sparsham achieves the highest state of permanence, uh, happiness. Atyantam Sukham Ashnate. Okay, and uh, so here he talks about the four uh, levels of happiness. So Tamsik, Rajsik, Satvik, these are all the modes of material nature. So these are, Tamsik is like, you know, uh, just the mode of ignorance, narcotics, alcohol, cigarettes, meat, products, all of that. Rajsik is uh, pleasure of five senses and the mind, which is the medium level. And Satvik is mode of goodness, where you're practicing virtues such as compassion and service to others and cultivating growth, cultivating knowledge, aha moments, breakthroughs, stilling the mind and all of that. And Nirgun happiness is the divine bliss of God, which is infinite in extent. That is ultimate happiness. That is outside the context of the modes of material nature because that is spiritual nature. So that so we are only hear about the three modes, right? Always it's like the Tamsik, Rajsik and Satvik, the mode of ignorance, passion and uh, um, goodness. So these are all modes of material nature. But when we get out of that, and we go into the spiritual realm, then that's called nirgun. Nirgun is no gun. These are all gunas. These are the three gunas. This one is nirgun. This is no gun because we're no longer in um, material world. We're talking about God now. So this is the divine bliss of God, which is infinite in extent. And the yogi who becomes free from material material contamination and you becomes united with God attains this highest state of perfect happiness. 
so and he's talked with supreme about supreme bliss in 521 as well as 621 so so when we become um free from material contamination when we are united with god then we get the ultimate sukh then we get the atyant sukh in the previous verse also he talked about uh, um sukh param something sukh like basically ultimate bliss right highest bliss and here also he's talking about highest bliss so when we withdraw from the material nature then we will be able to attain this highest bliss, bliss. Okay, that's it for this verse. We shall do chapter 6, verse 29 in the next verse. Wish you a day filled with tons and tons and tons of spiritual growth. And a, a year filled with tons and tons of spiritual growth. Radhe, radhe.